What's up everybody, Michael Phoenix here, founder of the magazine, in case you haven't known that by now or figured it out. Uh, nice spring, gorgeous spring evening here in Lehigh Valley, heading down Airport Road, away from Union Boulevard towards Redner's and East Congress Street. Just wanted to give you a quick heads up, I was just over in Easton this evening for uh, Pearly Bakers is sponsoring, is doing something really different and really cool. Um, I spoke with the manager, Josh, and he said he actually borrowed the idea from the Allentown Brewers, who started this, but he said that there wasn't anything like it over in Easton. And he combines two of his, it's a combination of two of his passions. The first is restaurant, is working in a restaurant. The second has to do with man's best friend. I just, the event was Pups on the Patio. Where this year he actually this, he actually wants to get um, other restaurants and bars involved, and it's basically to give you an idea where it's at. If you go to the Circle in Easton, which is Northampton and Third Street, um, on the one corner you will see, which is pretty much the corner for the bars. Um, there's three bars that kind of go down like a little walkway, and Pearly Bakers, Mothers, and Rivals. So. All three of those, those are, are involved with it this year. Now, in case you're wondering, you, or you can't, haven't gotten a clue as, the hint as to what Pups on the Patio is, basically, you know what? Hey, take your, take your best friend and the canine family member out from 5 to 8 over to, over to that section of Easton and let them, make, let them make some new friends, have a good time, listen to some great music. Uh, the DJ was provided by Used Grooves, which is a record store, a couple blocks up on Northampton Street, um, just west of the Circle. And just, you know, hey, you go out to bars, you, you know, you, you, get good, you get good people food. This was, this was great, this is a cool thing to bring, your, to bring the canine member of the family to. Uh, several people and the, several owners and their and their friends were in attendance and sitting out there enjoying it, it was a gorgeous uh, spring evening for it. The temps in the mid 60s it was sunny out and it was really cool. A lot of you know the dogs were friendly. Everyone was having a great time. There was great light. There was great music and also there were a few. Um, you could also. Uh, one of the local businesses there that's on Bank Street. She actually makes homemade dog treats. Hey, well, something like this, yeah, I know. They were they probably got a little bit of your burger or fries or something. But hey. Um, also, you had the one right the one animal rescue shelter there. So in addition to this being something really cool and different and, you know, to expand the meaning of family even farther by taking your family out, there, you, could all, you could also stop, you know, have a chance to catch some local businesses that are there and also, hey, how about, how about other, other pets? And I hate to use that word because they are family members. So... But yeah, and, I, and when I asked Josh, I said, "Is this going to be a regular, like, weekly event?" He said, "Basically, what um, he said, due to the time it takes to organize, it will basically be bi-weekly, starting starting in June." Um, but you know, this is def this tonight was definitely not a one-time event. So, take care, everyone. To thank you very much for your support. Uh, One-year anniversary for the magazines coming up May 18th. Looking for, really looking forward to hitting that one year mark. But to you, your family and friends, be safe in the night and always. Thank you so much for this, for checking out this article and your support of the Valley and Beyond. Take care, Michael Phoenix. I'll catch you later.